Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 32. We're in the Deerford Ruins. We need to get out of here. We have a room back here that we did not inspect on our way over here. Mm -hmm. This room. So we're going to try to do that without hurting our team too much here because all the traps... We have people to fight. Okay, let's see. I'm ready. Bella Gina. Go blow up this guy if you can, or get in here. Hmm? Durant, smack him. Well? You're gonna go attack this guy, and he's gonna go kick him down. Hmm. I'm gonna go... Grab him. Uh. All right, Bella Gina, now torch him. Paralyze this guy. He's not down. Now he's going to be down. Okay, was there anything interesting in this room? Doesn't look like it initially. I'll see what I can find. What is this? Scroll of Twin Stone. Okay, you can have that. What's this? A deer in dialects. Hmm. Not that interesting. Okay. Mm hmm. Apparel. Well, then. That takes care of that. We know this goes up to the Zarups. This apparently goes somewhere else, though, so we're going to try to go out that way. And we need to speak to Dorantz. What do you got for me? I thought I felt your eyes on me. This is from last episode. We probably should have done this last episode, but anyways. Yeah, I had a question I wanted you to, to ask. If doubts you. and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. Yeah, okay. I saw something strange. You were sitting by the fire and I saw a great light from your staff. Tell me what you saw. It was a flash like an explosion. Rushing of air, incredibly bright. It is the light of the God Hammer you saw. The God Hammer? It was a weapon of Deerwood's people, a symbol of their independence. It saved the Deerwood. Hmm. What do you know about it? It brought the Saints' War to an end, knocked a god from his perch. There are few that would deny Aeothis overstepped. The God Hammer reminded Aeothis of it. You saw its light because I helped shape it, give it life, and release it into the world. Once seen, its glory is almost too bright to be believed, and too bright to be forgotten. You helped build the God Hammer? There were twelve of us. We fashioned the weapon, drafted plans for it, prayed for guidance at Ashfall, and it came to me there. Each of us were given a staff made from the forest of black trees around us, glowing with embers and fire far greater than this branch you see now. It felt as if the staff was Margren's own finger, guiding my hand, guiding the other eleven, the shadows of the twelve who had come to stand on the bridge to stop Aethys. Mm. I also saw a dozen bright circles emerging from your staff as well. Even in that stand, there was a ritual to it. For the twelve that stood on the bridge, there were a dozen shadows cast, a dozen faithful of Margrin, her fiercest supporters and shapers of the God Hammer. Durant rests the staff in front of him, and the flames atop it curls for a moment, the light flaring slightly. It splits into a ring of flames, one after the other. Till a dozen is met. As twelve held Aethys fast, we twelve unleashed our prayers and let the God Hammer fall. Then it blossoms brightly once and resumes its candle intensity. In the aftermath, the shadows seem sharper in the vicinity, as if they have edges, and you blink to clear your vision. Durant is still staring at the tiny candle-like flame, 
intent. Shadows cast by the fire of the God Hammer, perhaps. We shared their fate as well in time. Now the spine of the Deerwood is marked by the God Hammer. Marked by Margaret. What do you mean, shared their fates? Not all deaths come with stilled breath and stilled heart. Or other stilled passions beneath the waste. Some deaths come from silence. The connection we once shared with Margren. After the light of the Godhammer, it was not the same. It was as if we'd lost our senses. And sense of purpose as well. Instead of victory, being welcomed, there was silence. Within and without. Not many can claim to have killed a god. It is less a heroic tale than you would think. And such a death, it changed our faith. All faiths, I expect. Doubt followed, and the world changed. I do not believe Margren was pleased by what we had done. Hmm, yeah. Interesting. Why is that? The world is broken. The wheel stilled. There is sickness in the world's heart. Perhaps the price of crossing a god. Maybe so. Crossing two gods. Even as Margren shaped our hands, perhaps we carried her will farther than was allowed. Just as Widewind did. Saint Widewind. Mortal arrogance to match mortal arrogance. Yet if the world had changed, then I sought to change with it. If I had forgotten some of Margren's teachings, I would find them again. I would make her see me again. What did you do? I remembered Margren's teachings. Her reminders on the flesh were more important than the death of a vessel. And I wondered if killing Aethys, if that had simply set him free, had it allowed him to escape his punishment and be taken on the wheel? Like a mortal? As I stepped from the now blessed Godhammer Bridge, I thought of Ashfall. I thought of the War of Black Trees. Wondered if I needed to be burned to find myself again. That is Margren at her heart. At least that is my hope. These are the doubts that befall me. What happened when you returned to Ashfall? The road to Ashfall is long. Gives one time to think. And if you think long enough, you do not go home. I left without telling anyone, with only the robes I wore at Halgot, my staff, and my name, which is long buried. Of my fellow eleven craftsmen, disciples, I know not what happened to them, if they suffered the same doubt as I did. But it was underserved. It was wrong. We had done all that, or oh, had asked, grab victory from defeat and... And you feel as if your god has betrayed you. There is something about being used and cast aside. Perhaps Widewen himself felt it. There at the end, when the hammer struck. To be the proof that your god is hollow as the vessel it inhabits. I tried to find purpose and avoided all contact with other Magranic priests, did not seek the walls of Ashfall, and sought to make amends to my god through actions. I joined with the Purges for a time, and not long after came the first signs of the Hollowborn. So many crimes, trespasses, violations, the salvation. Animancers were another sickness born of the Saints' War, a relapse of innovation, of desperation to heal what we had caused. All seemed worse than before the bridge, not better. And as years passed, the world became even worse still for the victory. Maybe the purges weren't what Magrin wanted either. Sweat collects in the sooty creases of his forehead and runs down his ruddy cheeks, drips from the tip of his nose. His mouth moves, but his utterances make no sound. He is for once at loss 
Feeling your gaze, he quickly composes himself, wiping his forehead with the back of a dirty hand. Hmm? Worship the whims of some fickle bitch, and you'll never be more than dirt beneath her feet. Worship what she worships, on the other hand. Take her fire for your own, and her esteem comes on its own. Of course, by that time, you no longer need it. Trial and transformation, sure as Durance taught. Durance glares at you, and staring into his eyes gives you the feeling of peering over the edge of a great cliff. You think to put the coals to my feet, but what's burned once will never burn again. These talks are your trial, Watcher. You cannot deflect the truth to one who has already been purified by it. I see. Tell me what happened on the bridge. We chose the bridge because we could control it. Durance's hands tightened on the top of his staff as if holding it by the neck. It was a place where we could choke Aethys in his own footsteps, where we knew his feet would fall a narrow neck of stone. But it was more than that. It was a spine of the deerwood, symbolic of its backbone. Such symbols are important in the construction of a weapon. Durant studies his staff, his eyes traveling along the etchings. Any weapon. Durant's face hardens and his eyes burn, his eyebrows narrowing. I suspect Aethus knew that as well. And so did his vessel in its arrogance. His hand tightens on the staff. He intended to walk upon the bridge as if walking on the backs of the deerwood. And we intended to burn him with the light of our faith and his. Twelve on the bridge, twelve in the shadow, and gave ourselves to it. Hmm. Gave yourselves to it. We put much of ourselves into the God Hammer. Such a device is not simply a machine. There are elements of the spirit in it. Even Wide Wind Spirit. Elements of the Spirit? Each of the twelve who brought the God Hammer forth would have done anything to save the Deerwood, save its people. It is why we were chosen. Each of us, each of us hated this pretender. That rage, that spirit, that rebellion went into our work and went into studying him as well. Widewin? Why? We all studied Widewin. He was our enemy, and he had provided the flesh the god wore as a cloak. That flesh made him vulnerable. I knew what fields his hands had tilled, his family, what he had harvested, where he had been born. We sought to know him, what had led him to fight us. Why was that important? You don't kill the god. You kill the man it inhabits, and you leave that man a ruin, burn him to ash. The weapon was meant to not only burn his flesh, but it would burn his soul. And it did, at the cost of our own, and at the cost of our goddess's favor. That whore be damned. <laughs> Is that why your image was blurred in the dream? Durance frowns. Glances at you with a sharp look. Perhaps your eyes were blinded by the God Hammer's light, Watcher. He snorts. I may feel half a man at times, but even that is twice that at most others. If you fear for my spirit, your fears are baseless. The God Hammer, seeing its light, only fueled my anger and made me stronger. Made me re-examine the teachings of Margren. Put them in a new light. It looked as if there was only part of you. As if your spirit had been sheared in half. I do not need you to cast any more questions on me, Watcher. Nor did I ask you to look upon me without my leave. Get gone and leave me be. Fine, you cranky old bat. It is sort of a rather interesting concept. If the gods were real and they could do things like inhabit people. How does that affect everybody? 
Oh, so here's the pulley we had found earlier. We were like, hey, we know that we know there's something on the other side of this fake door. So there is that. Where did we pick up? It's right here. There, and we're gonna come over here and get this, and then we're gonna come out on the Zarup side. There are some camping supplies over there. We need to head back to the keep, I think. There's a there is a person, palace messenger. There's a prestigious visitor there, so. We'll head back and do that. But we gotta go to town first. We gotta go back to town and deal with the young lady, her father, or her uncle, I guess we learned it was. Her molesting uncle. Oops, a trap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, bummer. Okay. Alright, everybody over here. Get over here. Sure. Everybody. Can you guys go like this? Can I do I have to put Keeping you in sneak mode out. to make sure you'll get around this stuff? Over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that to get through. I hate traps. People who watch my channel know that I hate traps. I think they're I think I think traps, uh, let me rephrase that. I think traps are cool. I think the way game designers use them are dumb. And to put a trap in the game here that I can't disarm is idiotic. So that's just bad game design 101. Bad game design. I don't think that's the proper way to, to do traps. What I think would have been cool right there is... Like if there's one trap you can't disarm, or maybe if you're going to lay the traps down, lay them down in such a way that the easiest path has a trap that maybe is hard to disarm, but a little bit more difficult path has like two traps that are easier to disarm. But the way they did it there, it's like you can't disarm any of those traps, so, so suck. <laughs> Where are we at here? We're here, the Deerford Crossing. This looks like it goes up here further. Like we can go this way. Let's keep quick saving the game because I don't know what we're running up against here. Bellagina, torches in. Yeah. We got beetles. We'll come back to this map. We got some kind of road here. Let's go to town, Deerford Village. Four hours to complete. Let's see if we can find. Uh, let's see the get a room at the Dracodon Inn first. Hurry up, you scallywags. Right. Before we go confront the uncle, mm -hmm. let's go over here. Talk to Dengler. Welcome. What rooms do you have? We got the dragon's lair. Ooh, plus two might, plus two constitution, plus two intellect for 200. That's nice, but we'll just use the old stables. We're going to be cheap for a while longer. Security reports that trolls and oozes will attack the stronghold in three days. Okay. We will try to be there. Now let's deal with this. Oh, not that person. Where is... Where is our man? Maybe it says on the quest somewhere. Blood Legacy. Return to Lord Heron to the Dracogen Inn. Okay, maybe he's upstairs then. They don't want us fighting on the main floor. That makes sense. Is he in here? Who's coming up the stairs? Nifri. The Orlan hovers by the window, peering out of it every few seconds. 
As you enter the room, she watches you carefully, her hand hovering over her stiletto. She cranes her head to peer behind you. Anyone follow you? Who sent you? Someone told me you were responsible for the heinous killings in Defiance Bay. Let me guess. Was that someone named Medrith? She draws her stiletto. It's a lie, plain and simple. I got on the wrong side of his employers and now he's after me. But if you're here to do his dirty work, I won't make it easy on you. Relax. Just want to hear your side of the story. What story? The Dominals came after me. I just happened to rob the wrong place. How was I supposed to know they'd already claimed it? She runs her hands under her hood and through her hair. It was an honest mistake. I'm just trying to survive now. And if you spoke with Medrath, you know where he's waiting. Please, let me get out of here. I'm siding with the dominoes on this one. They gave me a job. That's what we're going to do. But we're going to move this way. There we go. There we go. Okay. Who do we have here? Hooded man. Hooded woman. Hooded. Hooded. Okay. Let's do this. Whisper of Treason, this goon. You're going to do this. Yes. You're just going to hit some people there. Well. Which one? You're that guy right there. Okay, get up here and see if you can knock that person. I'm ready. I want you over here. There you go. Move on. This. Now, I want you to hit. Who do we have here? Nifri, nail her there. Yeah, I'm gonna over here. And I'm gonna try to. Let's see. There's Nifri, there's your dog. Hooded woman. Let's do her. Aloth, smack this around. You're gonna get over here. I want you to offensively empower everybody. What's going on? You can't I'm quite reach, can you? Shoot then. Shoot that person. What about you? You're up front. Okay, that works. Yeah. Yeah. I just got the hooded woman. Okay, that's cool. Now, what can I do here? I could whisper of treason someone else like the dog. Wolf companion is knocked out. Okay, let's do this. There we go. Oh. Get in there and smack that person around. Nifri. No, oh, there's a whole bunch of weapons here, but they're all pretty average, aren't they? What is this? Night Runner. Let's check that out. Okay. A blade is there... in the dark. What is this? Admeth Hadrid Part 1. Rise. Okay. Book stuff. Let's take a look at that gear, though. What did we get back here? Unique medium armor. Speed minus 30, plus 2 damage reduction, plus 2 stealth, plus 15 defense when disengaging. Okay, damage resistant 8. Dorance's robe. You're wearing a robe. I'm wearing some rags. But my speed with these are minus 25, so... Okay, probably don't need to do anything with that. What's this thing? Ring of the Eternal. Plus 5 copper. Oh. Well, that sounds fun. Plus five copper. Smashing. I like rings like that. Now let's see if we can find the bozo. Where is the bozo? Is this him? Lord head on. Oh, I'm gonna have some words with you, my friend. What are you doing up here? Unless, have you news of my daughter? I've got to get her out of this wretched village. I found Aelis. My daughter? Is her... Is she safe? <laughs> I let her go. That can't be. She's... What happened? 
Uh, you know exactly what I discovered. I don't know what you're referring to, but I've heard enough already. Take this, and let's put this unpleasantness behind us. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. Your blow dispatches the old man more quickly than you'd like, but you're confident no one has heard you. You're also confident no one will ask too many questions when they find him dead. You, my friend, you are a scumbag. Steve does it. I've got it. Finished. And there is no fate for you but death. What is this thing? Minor spellbind, sunbeam, burn proof. What? What? What is that? I've got it. Finished. Let's find out what that's going to do. Grant Sunbeam, three per rest, plus three damage reduction, burn. What's Sunbeam do? Burn damage and blinded. Ooh. Aloth, how would you like to have that? What are you wearing right now? Cloak of Will? Yeah, I think we can set that aside, buddy. You need this. That sounds like a good time. What's he got? Intellect and Resolve. Perfect. Okay. Well, then. Is there anything over here? There's people. What's in here? Junk. I've been caught stealing. Oh no. Let's see if that means anything in the course of the game. Well then. Probably have to pay some kind of fine, maybe. Well, there we go. I think we have some dopes at the end of the bridge here. We also have this troll we have to go deal with. We had people over here looking for someone in the village. Cald man, cald woman, boar companion. see about the church. Is Alice here or is she gone? Harburger what? Baldmar. Interesting, okay. Out with you! I already told you what I'm sorry. I thought you were one of those ruffians. Ah, uh, these times we live in, Adair grunts with disgust. How may I help you? What happened to you? I never saw their faces. Strange hooded men asking about those ruins. Cleoban Relog. Most of the brigands who come through here asking about the ruins are looking for a few ancient trinkets. But these people knew the name, and they were in a hurry. They wanted to know where Cleoban Relog was. I tried to keep it from them, but I couldn't hold out forever. I don't know what they were up to. But it can't be good. Aloth looks at you frowning. That does sound like the leaden key, doesn't it? The old priest nods politely. Is there something else I can help you with? Can you tell me where to find the ruins? The Glanfarthen tribe that guards the ruins will kill anyone who trespasses there. And they'll retaliate against us too, if history is any indication. We've had too many fortune seekers stir up trouble of late. If I'm to tell you, I'll need to know your reason for wanting to go. A dangerous plot is unfolding there. I've got to stop it. If that's the case, then we may already have trouble headed our way. I'll have to take you at your word. You'll find Cleoban Relog here. Whatever trouble you find there, please. End it quietly, and try to stay out of the ruins. People in town say that the Hollowborn problem has been especially bad here. It has. Cities and villages all over the Deerwood have seen Hollowborn, but Deerford hasn't seen the birth of an unaffected child in years. Most of our people have moved on to other villages in search of hope, and those who have stayed behind aren't the same. 
Children promise a future, you know. People change when you take that away from them. Farewell, my friend. Well, Cleobon Relag. Let's level up Durance. While we're here. My man. Okay, what do you got for survival? Damage reduction. Got athletics. Let's give you some more lore then. Let's get his priestly spells. Alright. We need to get back to our keep. What do we have here? Cleobon Relag. Okay, there's that. Craigholt Bluffs. Cadnova. We will head home. Speak to the messenger. I feel sorry for whoever has to clean up this place. That would be us. You're part of this too. Going. Let's see who's here. I have bear a message from the Ducal Palace. Pardon the intrusion, my lord. Chancellor Wadden urgently requests that you meet him at the Charred Barrel in Brackenberry. Is it about Cadnua again? I don't know. My apologies, my lord. I'm merely a messenger. I see. Why isn't the Chancellor meeting me at the palace? Perhaps the Chancellor is meeting with you in an unofficial capacity. It happens from time to time. Okay. I'll see him. Now, what are we doing here? Palace message leaves. Stronghold, nothing new to report. Trolls and oozes will attack in three days. Resolve the attack. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Resolve the attack. We're here. Let's do it. We will manual resolve. I'd forgot about this part of the game. Periodically. Oh yeah, we're right. Oh my goodness. Okay. That is Adair. Adair, lock this guy down, will ya? Well? Who's this? It's me. Darius. Hmm? Okay, you gotta move off to the side here. Hmm? Durant, smack him. Hi. Aloth. Let's see, what do you got here? So you got this sunbeam burning and potentially blinding those caught in the area of effect. Yeah, I like this. Let's do that. What is it? You're going to use this to go after that. Huh? I'm going to get the hell out of the way. I'm ready. Pelagina. Try to hit that thing. Yeah. Okay, and now I will try to at least turn one of these guys on our side. A troll. Okay, that gets us one. Uh, what's the next one? There? Let's do... Can we do that one? See that. Okay, there's your sunbeam. You might as well drop all these because we're going to rest here. So, drop another one over here. You, give everybody some defense. Boink. Okay, I'm not uh. doing what I need to do here. In that case, let's peel this off. Okay, Durant's good job, buddy. Give everybody offense. All right, now I gotta get some points here. I got some uh. points. Give me this guy back. Whisper of treason on him. Hi. Give me another sunbeam over here. Actually, you know what? Do this. I forgot we have this guy. Now, give us some more sunbeam. Boink. What do we have here? Adair, good job. Can you knock this thing down? See if you can do that. What? Durant, what else do you got? You got... Prevents a severely wounded character's health from reaching zero. Invokes the benediction of the priest god, imbuing allies in the area effect with accuracy and might bonus as well. Enemies receive penalties at the same time. Yes, please. Let's do that. I'm ready. 
Pelagina, where are you? Which one? You're right there. Go attack this. Oh, you're you're not attacking with this, cause yeah, alright. I got you. I am racking up some points here, so let's spend some and paralyze that guy. How long has this guy got? Charm for eight for eight, eight more seconds? That's awesome. Okay. Paralyze this guy. There we go. I got a hundred focus at the end of that. That's incredible. Well, it's a lot of focus. You can burn a lot of stuff with that. All right. Sure. We did have a mission a couple episodes back, and that will result in something new in our chest. What did we get here? We got this. The Cloak of Comfort. Plus five all defenses, max endurance and damage reduction. I think that might be a cloak for you or the other paladin. Okay, we got ingredients. That's nice. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, let's take a look at it for the paladin, maybe, because he's using what? The dying boar. Plus five endurance while endurance is below 33. Plus 20 will while the endurance. Yeah, his will is 72. What's his? 55. He's a paladin, so he's going to have a lot of endurance anyway. I mean, a lot of will. That gives him 77 will. What's this give you? Nothing. Difference in these cloaks is what? Not seeing it. This is plus 9 will. This is plus 12 will while your endurance is low. Okay, we'll just leave that there then. Fine saber you don't need. Saints War Armor. Stealth. Alright. What's this? You, is there anything in here you don't have yet? Yeah, what's this? Merciless Gaze. And what's this one? Alacrity of Motion. Okay. My friend. You have those now. What do you have for books? What is this? Fleet feet. So in your Got this, this. Oh, you can learn some more spells. Because hmm. we're using... Whose grimoire are we using here? His. Okay, we got this. Let's take a look at this. Because we got level four spells. We only have those two. Draining touch. Crow damages endurance is kind of a nice backup to have. Exposed vulnerabilities. We need to keep that and use it more often. It's fireball, noxious burst. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of the minor blights and use draining touch instead. What about level two? Full work against the elements. Burn, freeze, corrode, shock damage. Creates a shield only around the caster though. So merciless gaze. What's that do? The caster becomes able to see enemies' weaknesses and vulnerabilities as though they were physically tangible, increasing the chance of landing a critical hit. Okay, critical hit chance, mirror image, deflection until critically hit. Ray of fire. Creates a scorching ray flame between the caster and the target, inflicting continual burn damage to the target and anyone caught in the ray. Ooh. I like that one. Okay. I'm gonna get I'm gonna use that instead of necrotic lance. What about level one spells? Chill fog, blindness, which is why we like that. Wizards double. It's a duplicate. Grand in the caster. High deflection bonus. That's kind of nice. A quick strike of crushing force, dealing little damage but having a high chance to disrupt enemy spell caster. Okay. And Consulat's parasitic staff. That's the thing. Eventually, we may want to try to just 
set up some spells. Oh, well, what I usually like to do is this. I usually like to take one of these books and set them up so that he can have spells for melee. I'm going to take a minute to do that, actually. So here's what this ends up looking like. This, we call this his melee book. If I could rename it, I would. He gets the paralytic staff. The problem is that a lot of these don't last for long. It's going to last for a little over a minute. He gets spirit shield, which grants him damage reduction and concentration for a minute. He gets Eldritch Aim, which is going to grant him accuracy for a short amount of time. And then Wizard's Double, which will grant him a bunch of deflection until hit or critically hit. So if you can get him kind of being like a rogue, sneaking around with the paralytic staff and not getting hit, that'll work um, for as long as the fight is. And then Mirror Image, deflection for a long period of time, 78 seconds. He gets the Corrosive Siphon, which is going to... Do crow damage and drain it and give him endurance. He's got fetid caress, which is going to paralyze. He's got bulwark against the elements for 78 seconds. Exposed vulnerabilities, which you keep to help out the rest of the team. Uh, draining touch, crow damages endurance. Yeah, so this is corrosive siphon. Crow damage as endurance over 13 seconds. And this is crow damage as endurance, just straight up. And then you weaken the enemy at the same time. You get. Deleritus Alacrity of Motion, which is going to give him a higher attack speed and movement speed. Keep the fireball in there and the other two spells. So it's it's a melee book that we can use on him from time to time if we want him to be more of a melee focused character. Treat him a little bit I like a rogue. I trust all is well. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. What is the state of my keep? People are starting to notice your hard work. I dare say we'll have more visitors shortly. I'm glad you decided to stay on, my lord. It's been difficult watching this place tumble into decay time and again. To see it restored is... I can imagine the great crowds, the petitioners, music perhaps, and the evenings. Oh, I've gotten carried away, haven't I? Here's the report. <laughs> okay. What are we making? Purchase, 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 purchase. We have nothing pending. Okay, let's figure out what to make next then. All right, so where we're at here is we have 11 prestige and 13 security, which is where the guide from Steam says we want to be at this point in the game. Dungeons contain nine cells. Upgrading the dungeons will allow you to take prisoners during your travels. There's the... More security here. There's a library. Grant you a lower. A lot of these things grant bonuses when you rest here. The towers grant a perception bonus. So what we want to do is get either the curio. What well, the curio shop is done. We want to get the craft hall. Providing you with a weapons and armor merchant. Oh, I kind of want that. Or the artificer hall. Perhaps mechanic bonus. Don't care so much about that. There's the botanical gardens, generate a random plant every turn. We do want that. The bright hollow ones are cosmetic. The botanical garden. Yeah. Free herbs. Okay, let's get that one. Now. We can go rest here. Since we burned a bunch of spells. Fighting off the trolls and the oozes. I don't know this castle's history, but I feel confident saying it must have seen better times. It will see better times again. Alright, so I think we can just... Where can we rest at? Can't rest here? Oh, I thought this is where we were supposed to rest. I feel sorry for whoever it is to clean up this place. The warden's lodge. Well, we want to go there, so we can't. We can't rest here. That's interesting. How come we couldn't rest in Bright Hollow? We should just be able to rest in there. Oh, maybe we can. Maybe we just have to hit this. Okay, warden's lodge bonus. Last for three rest, plus two survival. You just couldn't do it from the R key. I'm getting Pathfinder confused again. Come on, boys and girls, let's get over here. 
This is going to give us access to bounties, which result in some really nice gear. They're also very hard quests to do, so... Supposedly. I also kind of remember that, though. How do you do? Yes, what are the most recent bounties? Now, I ought to warn you, there's a reason these bounties are still on offer. These are tough bastards, every one of them. If you're not up to it now, feel free to come back around when you're better prepared. In the meantime, here's a good batch to start us off. There's the standing bounty on Sly Serdell's head, of course. And then there's the forest lurker haunting the trade routes. And this ogre shaman should fetch a good price. And uh, one last one. War Chief Iklak. Yes. Okay. A man matching his description is seen near Magrin's Fork. He's well armed and I'll have his friends with him too. Sir Sirdal. Let's see. The word is big forest lurkers taking up residence in the Black Meadow just off the main road. Merchants have been calling it the Dweller. What about the Ogre? That's one that keeps making the rounds. Nalaren the Wise. He's some kind of ogre shaman. They say he's raided half a dozen farms all over the Deerwood. Where does he's hold up somewhere in Elmshore? Though nobody who went looking has been seen since. And the war chief. War chief Iklak. He's a Zarup. If the name didn't tip you off. He moves around a lot, but he's known to hunt the Valewood from time to time. Folks want him dealt with before he takes up with the dragon. <laughs> okay. I like that. Give me the bounties. Give me that bounty. I feel sorry for whoever has to clean up this place. All right. We need to get over here. Well, we're going to go back. We know we have another troll ogre thing to take care of near the Deerwood. Cadnua. And then we got to start doing the endless paths at some point in time here. Dormwall Gorge, Deerford Crossing. Where was that at, actually? Where did this guy say it was? Blood Legacy. Lord Haran has disappeared in the quiet town of Deerford. <laughs> yeah, I killed him and left his body in that before of that stinking inn. It was no less than he deserved. That one's done. Okay, Fragments of a Scattered Faith. We don't have to worry about that. Master Below the Long Hunt, Sagini. Children of the Five Sons. Bronze Beneath the Lake. Nope. Siege at Cragholt. Nope. Far from home. Nope. Okay. Farmer's plight. Yeah, the pig farmer. An ogre made off of this herd. He wants me the ogre dead and he wants me to bring his head. Find the ogre's lair somewhere in the wilderness outside of Deerford Village. Rumbald mentions that the ogre had been spotted around Deerford, but he wasn't exactly sure where it dwells. Hmm. Trigill told me the ogre most likely resides near the Bale River east of Deerford Village. Okay. That's where we're going then. East of the village. Deerford Crossing then. Let's see if we can find it over there. That seems like a good thing to do. Except, you know what? We're going to do this next episode. I didn't realize this episode was this long already. So there we go. That dude is done. This guy. Lady Ellis Herond. Lord Herond is done. So, he took a dirt nap. I will see you all next time. Till then, happy gaming, everyone.